The Institute of Medicine found a decade ago that as many as 98,000 people die every year from preventable medical errors, costing the nation an amazing $29 billion. The Institute report is called To Air is Human, Building a Safer Health System, 1999. The authors of that report found that medical errors are the nation's sixth leading cause of death, killing more people annually than automobiles or guns. In spite of all these devastating injuries and deaths caused by medical malpractice, these cases are not easily won. Most law firms who handle the typical personal injury case, like an auto accident or slip and fall, don't handle medical malpractice cases for that reason. Not only are they difficult to win, they are very expensive to handle. And unless you have the financial resources to stay in the fight, you will not prevail. These cases are defended to the bitter end. The defense leaves no stone unturned, no matter how obvious the negligence may be. We've had cases in our office where the mistakes were obvious and clear, yet we were still required to spend tens of thousands of dollars pursuing the case before the defendant would finally accept responsibility. Let me give you some data about how difficult these cases are. The latest statistics show that according to government data, medical malpractice is the second toughest type of case for plaintiffs to win at trial. The defendant doctors prevail in 60% of the verdicts. According to a 2006 Harvard School of Public Health report, 61% of medical malpractice suits are settled out of the courtroom. It takes a sizable chunk of money for lawyers to prove these cases, normally about $50,000. In spite of these statistics and the limitations on damages that have recently been imposed, we at Fair and Farrah will not stop fighting for the victims of malpractice. We want to make sure that consumers' lives and safety are protected and improved.